posing multiple objects. We can pose multiple objects at the same time with the pose tool. Uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our pose tools and create a joint. I'm going to create a joint here at his elbow. And the idea is to move his elbow and the ball at the same time. Uh, to do this, we want to have the ball weighted the same color as the posed item, his arm. So what we want to do is we want to go here to weights, and we want to paint the ball. So I'm just going to come over here and paint the ball. Uh, to make this a little easier, I'm just going to turn off the human body. And so now, all I'm going to do is paint the ball here. And I want to paint the whole ball, because if I don't, the ball will deform. So I'm going to spin it around and, and paint this thing. And, uh, and I just wanted you to see all this. There's other ways we could actually get this thing weighted. But uh, I'm just spinning it around. And you can see the joint is up here. And I, I want to make sure everything is painted. All right. And uh, so I'm going to spin around and make sure everything is. All right. And uh, I'm going to say, OK, oh, a little bit on the bottom. And so, all right, now let's come back to our human body back on. All right, let's spin them around. Now, now that the object the, is the same weight as the human body is, now I get the pose. Now I come over here to pose, and I'm just going to rotate, and you can see the ball moved with the hand. This is only accomplished if the ball or the other object, which, you know, the sphere is the other object, has the same weighting. And this weighting is the green. So we're going to have to weight the object to match what's being transposed uh, here. And so uh, this really helps now for us to manage uh, multiple objects at one time. So we are able to pose multiple objects if the other object is weighted the same color as the object that we're, uh, has the joint in it.